If the fragrance name has pepper in it and it's not spicy, I'm gonna be tight. Mancera's Cosmic Pepper is a fragrance that I blind picked up at Max Aroma to see how peppery can Cosmic Pepper be, knowing the House of Mancera's performance and lineage when it comes to the sillage bubble of affordability in the niche space. I figured this is gonna be ultra playful, nice and spicy, maybe kicking Spice Bomb in the chest, bringing a little niche action to a designer type genre like pepper. When I think of pepper, I think of Spice Bomb. So did Mancera release an undiscovered hype or did they drop the ball? Let's roll my music so we can check out Cosmic Pepper and see how spicy she really is. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Max Roma for sponsoring today's video. I did request this joint for review because I'd never heard of Cosmic Pepper. There might be videos of this fragrance I wouldn't know, but it's pepper. Like, I'm expected to be sexy, spicy, and have that typical Mancera slash Montal DNA. Both of those houses, which are familial, are known for being more of the affordable niche brands as far as gray market is concerned and having incredible performance. So I'm expecting Cosmic Pepper to keep that same energy. Oh. I kind of miss the screw tops on the Mancera bottles, don't you? So before we smell this puppy, let's break down the notes and see how much pepper components are in this piece. So according to the Mancera website, it's pink and black pepper followed by a fizzy combination of tangerines and lemon with a sprinkle of wild sage. Then in the mid is black pepper, damask rose, and a little bit of oud. And at the base, tonka bean, amber, oak moss, musk, and labdanum. So we got pepper up top, pepper in mid, and a little spiciness at the base. I'm expecting this joint to be a full-blown spice bomb, pun intended. Let's go with Cosmic Pepper. That is super playful. Not necessarily what I thought. You definitely get more of the tangerine lemon wedges, a uh, spritz of like citrus. You absolutely get the fizziness and the peppery components, at least at this opening portion, are kind of like, uh, you know, supplemental. I get a lot of fizziness. For some reason, I'm feeling like it's mimosa champagne-ish type energy. There's a sweetness, there's a bitterness, there's a lot of fizziness, and there's like dusting of pepper, but not a huge pepper bomb off the test strip. Yeah, it's still prominent. Very fizzy, very brunch cocktail-ish type energy, very bright, cute, warm weather vibes, light sweater, eating al fresco. I'd easily say that this is a wildly playful fragrance. They should have called this more like fizzy citrus or mimosa love or champagne showers. Let me go on skin with this puppy because I'm not getting as much pepper as I'd hoped for, to be honest with you. I was hoping this was gonna be like a spice bomb ripper in the Mancera space, but this is more like mimosa loving on brunch Sundays. Let me let this dry down a couple of seconds and let me hit this joint real quick. Oh, now I'm getting more of a oody component followed by the fizzy champagne mimosa type energy. Where the hell did that come from? It's a lot like, boom, oud is coming off real heavy. That touch of oud does not feel like a touch of oud. It's oud, labdanum, musk, amber, right from jump, then followed by a lot of fizzy citrus sweet components, and the pepper is kind of there like a best supporting actor in a flick. This has a lot of depth and it has signature scent characteristics. On paper, it really felt more warm weather, chill vibes, casual. On skin, there's a lot more potency. It has that Mancera DNA. It was like, yo, cool, but we're not slacking on paper. And if you thought you just smelled fizziness, put it on skin, papo. Let me show you what Mancera does. And it clearly presented itself in this format. It is not pulling any kind of punches off my skin right now. I truly do not have to get this close to smell this fragrance. But if there's going to be a con to this joint is that if you're going to name a fragrance Cosmic Pepper, have some pepper in it. Like put a little pep in that pepper. This is more like Sunday brunch with a oud punch off of my skin. Is it a good fragrance? I actually think it's very nice. Is it slacking on performance? It definitely does not slack on performance or sillage. And this is just with a couple of minutes of wear. Still bright, has dark qualities, has some body. A lot of fizziness, a lot of beautiful citrus balances between sweet and sour. But the pepper here is kind of just in the name. It's kind of just 
light dusting of pepper and it doesn't lean towards the black pepper it's more towards the pink pepper so it's an, uh, a fresher element to that peppery style vibe i would rate this fragrance a solid 6.8 very good good performance signature scent worthy you can pull this off on multiple seasons definitely hot weather approved based on the fizziness brightness cleanliness of it lemony vibrancy but i am a bit disappointed that there isn't more of a peppery spicy punch because after all it's called cosmic pepper like i would expect it to have some pepper i would throw some green pepper bell pepper black pepper pink pepper peppercorn ghost pepper some some fucking peppers like Put some pep in this shit. I will give this a solid half a ball spray. It is a very good fragrance. Don't get it twisted, but don't be misled also by the peppery name because I'm just not personally getting it. So half a ball spray. Very good from afar too. I'm still getting fizzy mimosa, champagne, brunchy style vibes. The oud is not lingering in the air at all other than what's coming off of my skin, but from the spray, I feel like the nozzle aerates it and separates the particles accordingly to have you experience more of the brightness and fizziness with a, like a slight, like a little of pepper. And then when you get close, you got that oud at the base, just letting everything adhere to the top of it. Have you guys smelled cosmic pepper? And did you feel it was kind of misleading as well? Let me know in the comments below. Shout out to Max Rowan for sponsoring today's video and sending me this as requested. I'll put a link in the description if this fragrance seems interesting to you. Any discounts or promo codes will be listed in the description as well. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I need a new Mancera or Montal banger that hasn't been showcased on this channel. Put me on. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun, hold a money for the roller roller star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib.